Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Your girl Tiffany here with a candle haul. The first official candle haul of 2023 from Homeworks by Slacken & Co. So this particular set of candles are part of a collection, the Valentine's Day collection that Homeworks just launched over the weekend last week. I believe it was last Friday. And so I decided to place an order. And before we get into the heath. I have to speak to you. So I'm going to shift this camera over just a little. I have to speak to you, all of you who know I am a Homeworks ambassador. And I appreciate you and your support throughout this last year when I became an ambassador. I've been an ambassador for the company since October of 2021 and was the newest addition to the team. Over the last couple of months, I would say the last six to nine months, Homeworks has really gone downhill. Yes, I know I'm bringing you a haul video and I'm telling you they're going downhill all in the same sentence. We've been dealing with so many changes. At this point, I don't know if it's a materials issue or if the company is cutting costs. I'm going to go with both. But at the same time, while the company is cutting costs, there is a lot. I feel like it's affecting the quality of homeworks. My I started with homeworks in 2020, so I'm new to the brand itself. Never purchased a slacking company, and I've been buying Bath and Body Works since 1998-99. Never was interested in candles. I didn't get into candles till like around 2013-14 and really like made my first purchase around that time. I was always a body care nut. I had every single body care that came out with. And that actually kept on going up until recently in 2019 when I decided that I really truly enjoyed candles and my passion had switched from body care to candles. So I've actually slowed down purchasing from Bath and Byers Body Care and buying more of the candles. And that is how we ended up here because I found out that he was making candles for Bath and Body Works. And so I decided to give him a try after seeing friends talk about him for the last couple of years. Homeworks was established from my understanding in 2017, possibly 18. I may be wrong on the dates. If you're someone like Shantae who comments frequently on my homeworks videos please update me and let me know i cannot remember right now um but and he started off i believe on the homework shop i'm sorry the home shopping network and then qvc but it could be that he went to qvc first that information i don't quite remember either again my friend shante if you're in the comments please let me know i'll try to update the information in the description box of the history but back to my whole original point here. From that time that they've started and from the slacking era of Bath and Body Works, the quality of Harry's candles have always been considered by most people to be subpar. Well, not, not subpar, but I, what I mean to say is have been very um, high quality con candles. And so therefore, in this last six to nine months, they are subpar compared to what they have been. I feel like in the two years that I've got a chance to experience them, I've seen how they changed. I've heard this happen has happened before, but I think this is probably the worst because a lot of people are actually noticing it. From the wick issues, losing wicks, to we went from wicks being an issue of falling over into the wax and disappearing or falling out of the wick clips and not being able to be burned at all. Then it was the lids here. These lids are aluminum now. These used to be very shiny, um, kind of like the uh, lids that you would get from Bath & Butter is kind of shiny like that. Um, and they're no longer like that. I have no idea what happened, but in the last six to nine months, that is the other change. Then recently, we had an issue with the shipping from the homework shop 
website and I honestly can say the things that I noticed that could affect the change is that he's doing more things with discount stores on top of trying to keep a production for his website and on top of um, trying to keep up with QVC because he has a contract QVC or exclusiveness with QVC. You have to, he has to still make candles for them. I feel that Harry made a mistake when he started putting candles out in discount stores. I also feel like he's made a mistake. He should continue to produce for QVC and use scents specific to QVC and then keep candles specific to the shop, specific to the shop. I feel like he's trying to be everywhere and that is affecting the quality of the candles. I never got a chance to actually rant on the issue, but I'm very, very disappointed. I myself have experienced candles now in the last month or so that do not fully pull out. They're leaving residue on the end. I remember candles from from Homeworks used to burn high, hot flames and get the wax pulled out and you could barely leave them lit for no more than like two to three hours. And they had scent and they threw. These candles now that have been in production from I say March up until now have not been the same. So I was hesitant to buy these four candles that you see here. Yes, I'm gonna give them a try. Yes, I am scared they're not gonna do and that's a shame that I feel this way um, because despite what anybody say about Bath & Body Works or other candle brands, one thing I have not had issues with is them having burn issues like Homeworks have, losing wicks and things like that and or them changing up the lids to cheaper lids. Homeworks, and if Harry, if you're listening, I need y'all to do better. Please do better. It's very crucial that y'all turn this company back around or you're going to end up in the ground um, because you're not a huge business. You're a small business. So it's very, very important for you to consider people like me, opinion, and others who have been trying to get your attention for the last almost year about issues going on with the candles. Just because the candle that you're testing in your home, Harry, is not a problem does not mean there aren't issues once they go into production. You're actually just testing the prototype. You need to start getting candles from the regular production like the rest of us so you can actually see what some of us are experiencing. And I think maybe once you do that, you will then be able to understand where we are coming from as consumers. That's the only way. Now. Without further ado, I know this is the longest intro to a video of a haul and I'm not going to hold you, but I just wanted to get that off my chest and that's probably the only time I'll speak on this going forward. Um, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below. Other than that, let's welcome anyone who is new to the channel. This is not normal for Homeworks and I'm hoping that this company can turn around. I'm an ambassador for this company and I also have a shared brand um, affiliate code to save you 10% on candles when you spend over $40 um, before shipping. In this collection, we have four new scents. Well, three new scents and one return and thanks to Shantae. The scents are True Love, Chocolate Covered Kiss, Be Mine, which is a repackage, X's and O's. So I'm going to start from the top um, True Love, which would be the top left if you're watching this on your TV or phone. And I'm going to go to the top right and then the bottom left and then the bottom right. So let's get started. So the first candle that I have here is True Love with scent notes of rose, peony, apple, melon, geranium, and peach. Now, this candle may not be some of your... Um, preferences because I know a lot of you are not floral um, lovers and I can tell you now by the notes itself there this is most likely um, this is a floral and most likely out of your wheelhouse so let's just be honest here I smell a lot of the uh, peony definitely smell rose um, I would say that there's uh, some geranium in there to tone down the floral I don't get a lot of peach, 
but it's a beautiful floral. So if you're someone who likes florals around um, the Valentine's Day season, this is right up your alley. If you're looking for that pink rose or like that pink peony type of scent, something that is very floral and beautiful and just soft, this is the scent for you. This is a very pink floral type of candle. I don't get much peach, but I feel like the peach gives it the sweetness that evokes out just the sense and essence of true love. So that is that one. Next, we have Chocolate Covered Kiss. Now, oh, and I don't think, did I show you this, guys? In, oh, boy. Um, the wax is like a light, light pink. I don't know if you're able to see that. Um, let me take this out. I know some people, they hate these things. <laughs> Jess, this is looking at you. Now, look at my wicks. My wicks are, they look okay, but... See, this might not even burn because look, look at how far this is from over there and look at how close these are. This should be spread out way more um, than what it is. So there's a possibility that I may not even get a full wax pull from this over here. I turned it to a different angle to maybe see, but we'll see how that go. So that is True Love by Slatkin & Co. Now we can get into chocolate covered chair, um, kisses, kiss. So the scent notes on this one is ripe strawberries, dark Belgian chocolate, coconut flakes, and powdered sugar. We're going to look at the inside of this one. This one also has like a pink wax, the same pink wax that is in true love. Again, these wicks are right in the center. They should be spread it out just a little bit more this is beautiful okay i like this so i get the strawberries and then i get like a slight amount of like this um belgium chocolate right it's there but the strawberry is more present than the belgian chocolate then i get a little bit of that part of sugar almost to the point where it's like you're making a strawberry buttercream and i don't get I don't get a lot of coconut flakes, but I'm loving this because it has those strawberries. I pick up the strawberries more than anything. So that is chocolate covered um, kiss. So we'll just put that there and we'll put that there. Next up is a repackage, um, Be Mine. This is a repackage, I believe, of raspberry shortbread that was on QVC in a um, specialty glass candle. This one also has pink wax now to me these are more spread out maybe maybe not i don't know they just look better to me maybe they'll do better out in the open but the scent notes for this one is raspberry jam warm shortbread old-fashioned lemonade and vanilla bean and this one ooh, is very it just smells like vanilla i can smell it like jam mm, i do get that shortbread like um those wafers that may have strawberry in the middle. Mm, I do get a hint. When I say a hint, a slight hint of lemonade. This is so good. I really am glad that I was able to get this one because I was not able to get this one in its original name and scent because I kept forgetting to order it. And then by the time it went on sale, it clearanced out and it sold out so fast. Um, but I might pick up another one of these. I might, not, I might have to get another one of these. Might have to get another one of the True Love too. Not sure about this one yet. And then finally, we have X's and O's. This one also has pink wax. I'm surprised he didn't do red wax. Um, now the wicks on these are a little bit better and more spread out. So there is that. Um, the scent notes for this one, red strawberries. Red rose petals, raspberry, and sugared apple. Okay, so there's rose in almost every single one of these. And strawberry, if you notice, too. But I do get the red rose, like a red rose and red strawberries. This is nice. But this time, the strawberries, oh, they're very sweetened by that sugared apple. 
and then that raspberry is just making this so juicy it's like you got raspberries and strawberries in a bowl and then you got the delicate um rose petals and a little bit of sugar mm, with a slight hint of apple nectar just mixed up in the bowl just making it smell so good this is gorgeous i love all of these okay i have to rank these in order of how i would love how i love them right now on cold um based off a of cold sniff i think x's and o's is number one for me and then followed by true love followed by be mine and then chocolate covered kiss is the fourth one i'm definitely going to probably get backups of all of these um so yeah thanks for watching you guys do you see any that you um possibly are interested in um keep in mind two out of these four are more floral than they are bakery you got two that are more bakery um this is a floral this is more floral this is bakery and this is more bakery you get floral from all of well not floral but you get like a strawberry or raspberry from them all because they all seem to have either strawberry raspberry um and then vanilla sugar and then they at least have some type of floral in there at least i think the three out of four I have a floral note to it so leave a comment below do you see any that you may want to try or you're not too sure yet because you're still afraid um as far as shipping go i did not have any issues this, these came within a week so um i ordered i believe friday of last week um or saturday it was one of the two but anyhow, I received my order by, I would say, Wednesday or maybe Thursday. Now, I, th I think it was Wednesday. I received my order on Wednesday. Um, and recording this video, it is Sunday. So, yeah. Yeah. It took, it took about a minute, but not that long. It, it took the standard homework shipping um, time. Other than that, leave me a comment. Like this video. And, um... Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.